Hey y'all, my name is Gal Sal and we're back in the Stanley Parable. Also, I have really super shiny background now and I just wanted to point that out. I'm so happy for Five Below. Anyway, let's get right into the Stanley Parable, shall we? Okay, now it's- I can't wait to tell this story to my coworkers, Stanley thought. Oh. How amusing they'll find it. Okay. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Yeah. Now, I've gotten quite a few comments on my Stanley parable. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, <laughs> but it didn't make a single difference. Thank nor you, Nor did it advance the story in any way. Okay, narrator. Anyway, I've gotten so many awesome comments on my Stanley parable videos and some suggestions. And I'm super grateful. I want you all to know that you can comment anything you want. Uh, as long as... You're giving me constructive criticism. That's awesome. If you're just going to be a hater, then please don't comment. Cuz I don't want to go have to go to the corner and cry. That's that's not nice. I'm shutting off computers. Um Anyway, I really appreciate everything everybody has been commenting on my on my videos. This game is actually pretty fun to play, and I'm happy to be back at it. Why are there things all over the floor? Did I already do this? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I gotta go this way, I think. Oh my god, I don't remember what I'm doing. Somebody help me, I feel... Narrator, where are you when I need you? I'm losing my ever-loving mind. When Stanley came to a set of two open oh, that's doors, right. he left. entered the door on his left. Yes, narrator, yes. But I did all the, the things, right? Yet I did the, there was not a single person I here did the either. death thing. Feeling that's... a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yes. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yes, I did. And I did the thing. I remember. I think. Yeah, I remember. I did the thing. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, Four, five. But of course, Stanley could get incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, geez. He stepped into I the didn't... newly <laughs> opened passage. I did not even realize there was like a hole in the floor there. Good grief. Okay, so the last time I did not go towards the mind control thing. And I think maybe I should have. I. This game is both confusing and very intriguing. Where am I going? How will it all end? I don't know. And why is the narrator... Descending deeper into the building, the way he is. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Mm -hmm. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yes, he did. I did. What the heck? What? Isn't this just the monitor room? That's not lit up right now? It is. I can see. I can see the monitors. What's all this? What do I do? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Uh -huh. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yes. I shall fear no monitor. Oh boy. Nothing there. Nothing to do there. Oh, over here. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Oh. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, okay. Stanley's co-workers. 
the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh my. So dark and mysterious. I love it. What's over here? This is why the narrator freaked out last time I found it. I wasn't supposed to find it yet. Okay. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I don't know. I mean, that's, that's a pretty terrible thing to think. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Yes. Was it even possible? I don't know. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I hope not. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Ooh, what's this? Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Waiting for, for he contact. would dismantle the controls once and for all. How do I dismantle the controls once and for all? I'm trying. Is it a puzzle? Is it a puzzle? Input. Well, activate power cells. Where are the power cells? How do I activate the power cells? Oh, come on, I didn't know this was a puzzle game. Ooh, is that up there? Do I have to go up there? Wait, what is this? Is this it? No. Is this it? No, I can't do anything with that. So if we go up here. Hmm, power cells, power cells. Is this it? I mean, I pressed it. Five. I got five and then I got four. So maybe I have to find like three? That's where I just came from. Where the heck is three? What's down here? Oh gosh, I'm gonna get lost in this. I don't have the brain power today for a puzzle game. Oh no, okay. Come on, Stanley. We can, we can do this maybe. No, there's five. Okay, maybe I just come in here. I, I don't know. Mind controls idle. Waiting input. Oh, maybe I did to come in. At last, he found the source <laughs> of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. I knew I didn't have the brain power for anything today. All I had to do was the simplest task, and I couldn't even handle that. My apologies, narrator. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, uh -huh. turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, 
Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. What? How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your what? heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left Press. to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes one. off. Where the hell is but what one? precious moments each one has. <sighs> More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. I gotta do it! What all this means. I barely know where to start. I don't know. What's that? One. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. What? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. What the? Oh I God! I turned off the Why? machine. I set you free. What? Of course, that was merely in this instance what? of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, Incorrect. I simply let you sit there three. in your office forever, oh God, where is three? endlessly, and then One, dying alone. Two. I don't even know where three is. Other times, We're I let dead. the office We're sink dead. into the ground, swallowing everyone dead. inside, or dead. I let it burn to a crisp. Dead. I have to say this though: this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back There's the control three. wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even Two. better. Oh gosh. My goodness. Right. Only 34 seconds left. Oh jeez. But I'm enjoying this so much. Oh, you are so you know condescending. What? With it. So I'm condescending. Going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Yes. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that I, something in this room was capable of turning I, it off? I don't know. I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what, what your purpose in this place is? No. <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. Oh my but God. here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so okay. you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No oh, no. Here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you no let go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Goodbye, employee oh, 47. Dear, it's all the same to me. I can't do all anything now. It's shaking. Oh, my God. Me, I will be laughing. I'm running around like a madman. Life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say. Shut up, narrator. Up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I don't know what I just did, but I don't think it was good. Okay. Well. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. What? Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. Surely. After you just blew me up, you frickin' jackass. Well, dang it. I did not mean to close that door. There. Okay. Nope. Can't get in there. Uh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did I do... I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay. 
What is that? Nothing. Somebody said something. About Yet there was not a single closet. person How do I find here my way either. To Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's <gasps> office, closet. hoping he might find an answer. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No, he did not. Look at this broom closet. What is so big about the broom closet ending? Oh, it's a pipe wrench. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom, broom closet. No reason to still be here. Really? I mean, it's a nice broom closet. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Sweet F.A.? <laughs> are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Standing around doing nothing? Yes. Why? Because it's Please better to be blown up. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. You blew me up. You hurt me. Why wouldn't I stand in a broom closet? You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? Yes. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. But I like just standing here. And it doesn't matter, I came in here. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Who do you think you're talking to say. like that? I don't sound like Eliza Doolittle. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. What? I feel attacked. Personally. Well, I've come to a very definite up. conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Really? Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. What? He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I'm pretty sure that you insulted me, but I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm, I don't know, I have to, I don't know. I'm just gonna see, what is this, duct tape? Ooh, wrenches, stapler gun, some coiled wiring, what is that, a screwdriver? Right, hammer. I don't know what that is. I do like that pipe wrench, though. Looks awful heavy, narrator. Be a shame if somebody bashed you in your head with it. Looking at you, narrator. Mage, think. I'm not going out there. Does this actually have an ending, or is he going to be any more sarcastic with me? Oh, are you done now, narrator? I'm just going to pace around here. Pacing. Pacing, pacing. I can't freaking believe this guy talking to me like I'm alive to do little. Like, doesn't he know that she learned how to pronounce her H's properly? The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. In Hartford, 
Hereford and Hampshire. Hurricanes hardly happen. Rude narrator. Rude. Just rude. Hmm. What if I go out and then come back in? Ah, second player. You too? Unbelievable. Ah! I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. You are rude. There. Or what if I go back in and close the door? You got anything else to say, wise guy? Invalid. What the hell is this person's problem? Cool their voices, Mr. Narrator. How long am I going to be stuck in this broom closet before he talks again? Let's try this. What if I move this way a little bit? What if I move this way a little bit? You can talk? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs oh, to his boss's of office. Ooh. Ooh, you got me with that closing door thing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, let's see what's down here. Oh, no, I'm not getting stuck in that nonsense again. Nope. I don't want to go through all that. No way. Wait, can I go to this door? gonna go in here <gasps> I could open the door elevator and the later go up Sorry, did you just say shake those maracas? Because I am highly offended. A little bit. And also a little curious as to why he said that. I'm glad I found this elevator, but what the hell? Can I stop it with a button? Oh. Did I just stay in the same place? Well, that's kind of bogus, but you know, whatever. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. No. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? Hmm. He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. When Stanley came to a set of two open, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. well. Who cares? Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. 
Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. Yes. It, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yeah, good. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years Ooh, ago. Let me try to make it across this thing this time. How am I gonna do Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Mm -hmm. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Who? Someone you've forgotten about. Who are you? Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Oh, now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Who is your her? chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. The other narrator? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to- Okay. What am I doing? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about- Get your day on <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? What? They want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. This is mean. Oh, my goodness. This what? is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Press six on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Hey, how you doing? Press E. Look at him there, oh, pushing geez. buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Ooh. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mm -hmm. mind he can go on fantastic adventures. Yeah. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. What? Press two. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. What the heck is it? First, TV? he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone Working in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press N to spend time with the boys? So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. What is this? Please press J. Oh God, I'm doing what I'm told. This is As so As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to what fill it hell? with many possible paths and what destinations. What the absolute hell Down is one this? path lay an enormous round room this with monitors just... and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called what? it the Stanley Parable. What? Press eight to tell your kids a story? It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Press 8 to tell your wife you love her. Well, I love you, dear. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? 
In reality, all I mean, he's doing is pushing what? the same Whoa, policy hey. he always has. Hello. Nothing has changed. What the absolute hell? The longer he spends hell. here, the more invested he gets. What the is this? The more he forgets which life is the real one. Oh, God. Press Q to go. Okay, wait. If I press this again, what's going to change? And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. Huh. That as long as he remains here, Whoa. he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here. Watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Fuck you, dude. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. Mm -hmm. But I don't make the rules. So I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe you'll Maybe stop this stop. time. You stop being... And I tried again. Please die! Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I try What? I can't find the baby ending. What the hell is this? What is this game? All right, y'all. That's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I don't know how to find all of these endings, but I'm doing my best. I might do one more video of this after this. I don't know. Um... But I appreciate every like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, y'all are amazing. And remember, you are important and you matter. And until next time, bye.